mankind has been using marijuana as a medicine for thousands of years. And up until 1937, when marijuana was made illegal, uh, there were many over-the-counter medicines that you could buy that contained THC or marijuana tincture of, of some kind. Decarbing your marijuana, the process of decarboxylation. Marijuana is full of THCA, which is related to THC, but it has to undergo a chemical change to turn into THC, which is what gets you high. So when you cook food, you can't just eat a raw nugget of marijuana, you won't really feel any effects. Although you might enjoy the flavor if it's a nice one. Uh, so that's why before you cook with marijuana, you uh, use the oils or the butters to heat up the marijuana and decarbol, you turn that THCA into THC, which turns your regular brownies into space brownies. So the biggest difference between when you smoke weed and then when you eat marijuana is how it's metabolized, right? So when you smoke pot, it goes into your lungs and that way the THC gets directly into your bloodstream that way. But if you eat a cookie or a delicious pasta sauce, it's the THC is metabolized by your liver and then it's spread all throughout your body uh, that whole way and it, it creates different effects. That's why a lot of people are way more affected by edibles than they are just by smoking marijuana. Step-by-step -step guide to making cannabis-infused oils and butters. Step one, wash your damn hands, you hippie. Step two, plug in your crock pot, right? Throw in, say, a pound or two of butter, quarter ounce of weed. A shake is probably better to use than pure bud. And you set it on low, you let it sit there two, three, four hours. You strain it off and then you just let it cool down. When you're cooking with marijuana, you're turning THCA into THC, which is the psychoactive part. But if you heat it up too hot or you cook it too fast, you're gonna burn it up and destroy all those THC molecules. So slow and low is generally the rule. The two most well-known chemicals in the marijuana plant are THC, that's the easy one, this is the stuff that gets you high and we think it may fight cancer. And then there's also CBD, which is a natural anti-inflammatory and it's proven to have some anti-anxiety effects and that actually keeps you from getting too high. If there's too much THC, uh, you can have a little CBD and kind of smooth right out.